guy, David <laughs> Archuleta. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having me. Now, the reason why you're in Eastern Idaho, talk to us a little bit about what's happening on Saturday. Uh, well, I have a show here mm -hmm. at Rexford BYUI. I'm going to be doing a show. It'll, it'll be exciting. I haven't done one for a while, so I've been keeping busy with other things, with um, recording and working on the album and, and the book. And the so, book. What's cool? We have a yeah. issue of the book, or a copy of the book right here. Tell us a little bit about what everyone who might be picking this up, what they can expect from the book. Well, the book, it's just kind of, it's about all the experiences I've had so far. You know, it's been crazy. I didn't expect all of these things happen while still being a teenager. And, um... Because remind I, all of us, you're 19 years old. Yeah, yeah, I'm 19. So okay. it's my last year as a teenager. But it's, it's still weird that it's like I'm still a teenager and all of this has happened with, mm -hmm. you know, recording and touring and, and um, you know, the American Idol experience and now I'm making a book. and All about your been, life. Is that kind of weird that you have a book about your life? It's really weird. I mean, for, at first I was kind of like, well, I don't, the, the, when the publisher publishers um, approached me about making the book, I was like, well, what, a, what am I going to talk about? I, I don't, do I have very much to say? I haven't lived that long. Uh -huh. But I thought about it and thought, you know what, this would be a really great opportunity to share experiences that I've learned with people, and especially kids my age, because I feel like, you know, around this time, you know, this is where oh, people grow so much, teenagers, they're, this is where they're really growing and have a lot of opportunities and can t have a lot of chances to take chances. And, so I just thought it'd be cool to kind of help, you know, kind of motivate people, encourage them by sharing what I've learned and how I've dealt with challenges or whatever. Pretty big yeah. challenges there happening, yeah. yes. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's... What's the hardest it, part of it all? The hardest part of it all? Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I guess, uh, you know, I, it's helped, it's hard to be away from the family, but it's also, it's what's helped me realize how important family is, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, there, I knew family was important, but now it's like wow i really appreciate them and all that they've done and what they've taught me because it's really come into play now you know now that you're away from home and stuff you know you, you know you grow up you just you know everyone grows up and moves out and stuff but that's where um, i guess i wasn't expecting it to happen when i was still you know and how old were you when, when you did american idol oh when i auditioned i was 16. you're 16 so, years I mean, old yeah. it's been a really busy last couple of years for you yeah it's been it's been really busy but it's just been such a blessing i i just really feel like uh it, i'm just so grateful to be able to do music and to be able to do something good with it oh do something good we love that okay well coming up in our next half hour this is what we're very excited about we have had nearly 200 entries to win two tickets to your concert oh, really? on saturday night in <laughs> rexburg so we've got the people behind the scenes doing some, some working here. We're going to pick the winners, and then we are going to try to call them and award them live on air to the lucky winners to your concert next week, and we'll, or on Saturday. And we'll talk a little bit more about how much Eastern Idaho loves you, which is... I, I've read, I read some articles. You're a little surprised at the fact that Idaho loves you so much. Yeah, I was surprised. You know, I didn't know what to expect until I came here to do shows, because it was the first time I'd ever really done anything with music here in Idaho. And it was, I was just really amazed at, you know, how supportive everyone was. Yeah, Eastern Idaho loves David Archuleta. <laughs> so we'll have more with David in just a little bit in our next half hour. But coming up this half hour, earlier this week we told you uh, of the new estimate for the value of minerals found in Afghanistan. Well, the country now says, wait a minute, it's worth quite a bit more. So we're going to talk the numbers on that. And what do you do if you see Bigfoot? Call 911, I guess. Well, that's what one guy did. We'll check out his story just a little bit later this half hour. So we still have some